Great. Now let's set up some of the key details of your new team. We'll start with an easy one. What name would you like to give the team? Nice! Now, some kind of income stream is critical, so we need to sign a primary sponsor. Our primary sponsor will pay a signing bonus to the team up front. This is vital to cover the early investments we need to make. They will also provide valuable weekly income for us. Each sponsor has a goal they want the team to achieve. If we hit that goal, the sponsor will pay us an additional goal bonus. Fantastic! Now we've got a budget to work with. Our car won't be going anywhere fast without a power unit, so let's sign a power unit supplier now. We need both performance and durability from our power unit, but we also need to balance the books. We're going to have a lot of other areas to invest our cash into. We almost have all the key partners for our team now, but we still need a teammate for you. These are the drivers available to be your first teammate. They all have their own strengths and weaknesses, so consider everything when deciding who to hire. Drivers earn a claim based on their performances. When a driver earns enough a claim, they will level up. The higher a driver's level, the more a claim they will earn for their current team. And remember, the faster the team levels up, the faster our income will increase. The higher a driver's experience, the more resource points are earned to spend on vehicle upgrades. Racecraft is the driver's skill to effectively complete overtakes when opportunities arise. Awareness shows the driver's ability to avoid errors and incidents. Pace describes the driver's ability to set competitive lap times. Focus represents the driver's current form and state of mind. Rating is a summary of the driver's overall skill level. Looks like we can afford this power unit supplier and teammate. Go ahead and confirm if you're happy.